What's up everybody? Hope you're doing super well. If you're new here, my name is Ryan, and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I want to talk about losses. And losses can be a whole bunch of different things. You could have financial losses, opportunity losses, the losses of like a loved one or a friend. Our lives, just being human and living in this world, are going to be filled with these different kinds of losses. And so I wanted to talk about like the psychology of loss and just kind of how to deal with these different situations because being a human being it's just going to come up so many times in your life and I know in my life I feel I did not handle losses very well and now I'm getting like better at handling them but there's still like there's still a lot of work to do because it's difficult right like if you have um, a financial loss or a small loss it could be upsetting and you might think about it for like weeks or months to come but if you have like a, a big loss, like the loss of a family member, it could be like really upsetting and it could be almost like life altering. So yeah, I'm just really interested in like the psychology of loss. And, but I think that when you break it down, especially with the smaller losses, like if you have a small financial loss, you can really make it quite simple by just like accepting the loss and then moving on and trying to um, not forget about it, but see it as like a learning opportunity because you're not going to, it, it can be hard to forget about it, right? So I'll give an example of when I first got into like financial stuff and like understanding um, my finances, I got into stocks and trading stocks and I bought this one stock of a company that I just really didn't know much about. And I put $800 into it and I think when I cashed out, I had like 20 bucks. So that was like a, a not so great financial loss. I lost almost 800 bucks. But at the same time, I saw it as like this really valuable $800 learning uh, uh, experience because I learned not to invest in companies that you don't know anything about. So yeah, and then like see it in more of a positive light, right? Like I, I'm very grateful that it was only $800 I lost and not an $8,000 learning experience. But yeah, the, as I get older and as I experience more losses in my life, I really try to see the positive side of them and try to see them as a as a learning opportunity and try not to get uh, fixated on them too much because if you if you fixate on that loss it just kind of holds you back and it prevents you from moving forward and I think seeing them as a learning opportunity is really the way to uh, move forward with those losses and uh, yeah that's about it for this week just a short video this week but uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any stories about losses and, and what you learned uh, from them in your life. It'd be really cool to hear about your stories as, as well. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I upload a new video every week. Thanks so much and take care. Peace. Thank you.